Samantha here. We Hello. hope you're doing okay. So today, Christian, where are we? So Samantha, today we are in Chateau Neuf du Pape. So Chateau Neuf du Pape is a small village, which is uh, about uh, 10, uh, 10 miles, yes, north from Avignon. Avignon has been for the during the 14th century uh, the city of the Pope. So the Pope were living in Avignon, and by the beginning of the of the 14th century, they decided to build up this. Uh, uh, chateau, castle, new chateau, new castle. Uh, here on the top of the hill, you've got an amazing view uh, over the river, and when the weather is good, you can even see the Mediterranean Sea. Okay, Christian, so now where are we? So, Samantha, we are just in the middle of the vineyards in uh, Chateau Neuf du Pape. Uh, chateau Neuf du Pape is very unique uh, about its terroir, and you can see we are in the middle of uh, of a sea, of an ocean of round stone named pebbles. That's very typical from Chateau de Dupat. It makes this area really unique. So today we are meeting with uh, Baptiste Grandjean. Baptiste uh, is the owner of Domaine Christia, and Baptiste has worked with us in order to set up uh, Reserve des Diacres 2018. How are you doing, Baptiste? I'm doing well, thank you very much, Christian. So, Baptiste, uh, explain us a little bit. Uh, Chateau Neuf du Pape is known for the use of certain varietals. Is that true? Absolutely. We use certain grapes, actually eight red and five white, in the blend of Chateau Neuf du Pape. Regarding the reds, the three main grapes we use, and especially in this blend, are Grenache, Syrah, and Mourvedre, a GSM blend that you probably already know, with mainly Grenache giving the sweetness, the fruit, alcohol level, blend with the Syrah and Mourvedre, which bring much more color, spice and body in the wine. Okay, let's taste. Let's taste. Thank you. Here we are. Nice nose, Baptiste. And uh, the color is nice, very deep. Yes, this is a, a beautiful deep red purple cherry color with nice tears. The nose is very harmonious with mixing floral and fruit aromas with a touch of spice and licorice. Attack is balanced and lively, tannins are powerful and ripen out. You have a long intense fruit in the finish, a lot of aromatic at the end of the mouth. So Samantha, what about the pairing? Christian, so this wine will go well with all types of Mediterranean food. This is a steak wine, sorry, and it goes well with hamburgers. And I can also recommend a good matching with um, duck breast, it is magre. And Samantha, as usually, at the end of the video, we suggest a special recipe, a Provence recipe. So what is the recipe of the day? Yeah, Christian, so today the recipe is the Dove of Provence. Uh, you can find the link in the description. It will drive you to the recipe. Thank you. Stay safe. Bye-bye.